beautiful people welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here welcome host my name is Asia. so today i created this beautiful 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 eyeshadow look with just one palette so if you want to see how i created this look then just keep on watching okay you guys so the palette that we're going to play with today is the color green and power collection i think i've only used this once or twice girl i don't know that 217 brush seems to be my favorite brush as of late I still got the plastic on the mirror. Look at that. Maybe I should just leave it on. So I'm gonna start off with the shade Testify, and that is the darkest purple that's in the palette, and start off with buffiness in the outer corner of my eye. And then I will take it through out the crease in a second. Now I'm gonna show you guys, well, if you don't know what the palette looks like, it looks like this. It's pretty much all um, purples and it's mauves, but not many other colors that you had to work with. But I have felt like using purple, but I kept pushing it off because it's like, okay, I have this other thing that I wanna do, I have this other look that I wanna try. But today, I am finally going to use purple. Next, I'm gonna take my MAC 224 brush. I'm gonna take the shade Deception. That's this one right here. And blend out Testify. All right, y'all do not yell at me, but I still have not watched the last season of Power. Oh. And the base that I have for my eyeshadow was just my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Deep Dark 52. Okay, I have those two shadows on. Now I'm gonna take you guys my color bases from P. Louise Finally Came, like this, thank God. And um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna use a base today, but I was like, since I'm doing purple and I have this purple base, it's like, why not? So this is Vivid Violet, so I'm gonna take some of Vivid Violet and put it on the back of my hand. And you guys, we are crease carving today, so I really wanna see how this shadow is going to look, so I'm gonna take my flat brush and get a nice amount of the base on the back of, well, I mean, sorry, get a nice amount of the base on the brush and begin cutting, girl. The base was pretty easy to work with. Um, just like the one that I use, um, Rumor 3 all the time, pretty easy to work with. Um, I want to see because the base isn't as pigmented on my eye, maybe because I had my concealer underneath, so I'm gonna have to try it a different way, but so far, um, I am liking the base. And I'm just tapping the base on so that it's not so opaque, and also making sure that it's nice and smooth. So the shadow that I'm going to go on with next is called Truth. It is the darkest purple um, or shimmer purple that's in the palette. I'm going to take and apply Truth to the outer corner of my eye with a flat brush. It almost looks like a blue purple in the palette, honestly, up close. But on the eye, it is purple. And now that I have Truth on my eyes, I think I'm going to take the shade Respect. This one over here is like a, yeah, let's see if I'm getting closer so y'all can see. It's like purple, but specks of blue. Again, I don't know y'all how to explain this, but I mean, it, that's the color we're going up with next, okay? Respect. I'm respect this really pretty duochrome. Ooh. Making sure that I blend that into truth. I don't know if you guys can, let me bring y'all a little bit closer. Hold on. Do y'all see that transition between those two like that? That's good. I like that. The pigment shows more when you swipe it instead of just patting it on the eye. Um, I didn't notice that. And you guys, I am just using the same brush over and over. I'm just taking it and wiping it off. I have a towel right here in front of me. So next, I think I want to go in with the shade Legacy. It looks white, but when you swatch it, it looks like that. We're we going in with Legacy, y'all, because <laughs> I'm super limited here as to what I can do. So we're going to take the shade Legacy and put that. 
It actually looks mm, more pinky now that I'm putting it on my lid. Y'all see that? It's kind of chunky too. Like, like a flick right there that I need to try to get all cute. So I'm just gonna go back and forth between Respect and Legacy and just make sure they blend nicely. So I have my old faithful NYX liquid liner here. I'm gonna work on my liner really quick. So I'm gonna work on my base off of camera. I'm just gonna use my Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser and then my foundation that I wanna use is my CoverGirl Full Spectrum Matte Ambition. Put that on and I'll be right back. Okay, I have my base on. So the foundation that I'm gonna use is this CoverGirl Full Spectrum. Um, I don't really know the shade. Maybe the shade is All Day Idol, but it looks like this. I know I used this in a video um, in the past and I was not impressed at all by like the coverage and stuff. And from the way it's looking right now, I'm still not. <laughs> but um, just to switch up my concealers a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and take and use this one. And if I have to, I'll just build it up. Um, but it is lighter than other concealers that I have, I feel. So um, to really get that brightening effect, I wanted to, I decided to go ahead and use this concealer. The wand only gives you just like a little bit of product, which is aggravating, but seen a lot of people that their concealers dry down because it provides a more full, fuller coverage so i don't want to wait i'm just going to fan myself a little bit dry it down and then go ahead and blend it out Maybe that tip did help a little bit because um, it looks decent. I can still see my glasses marks, but I feel like I can always see my glasses marks. So anyway, I'm going to take my, my Sasha Buttercup. Like it's taken me a while to learn how to work with this powder because it always had me looking like a ghost and I still don't completely have it down in my opinion, but um, I want to learn to work with it. Especially because it's sitting here in my drawer. I mean, why not? <laughs> you see, uh-uh. Be looking a little ghostly and dry and mm -mm. Then for my all over setting powder, I'm going to take my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And this is, I mean not concealer, powder in medium deep and just put this on the rest of my face. All right, and because I look real crazy, I'm gonna take my Smashbox Photo, Fit, Smashbox Photo Finish Water, Primer Water, and just spray my face. All right, cool. Moving on to the rest of my face, we are going to take my, this brush is nasty. We're gonna take my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette, and I'm gonna just use that to bronze me up. And I still feel like I look real powdery, girl. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and take and put some glue on my lashes. And the lashes that I'm gonna use today are the lashes that I saw my sister wear and I had to go get them. They are in the style Tokyo and they are from Lash by Kia. So happy that these finally came, y'all. Can't wait to use them. So let me put some glue on these really quick. How pretty these lashes are. Well, this lash is. Hold on, let me put on the other one real quick. Ugh, I might have to cut this one a little bit because it's starting to pinch but right now i'm just gonna go ahead and move on so for my lip combo i'm gonna use my bff4 lip pencil from ColourPop. the lipstick is from kvd beauty and it is in this shade bow and arrow and then on top of it i'm gonna put gonna put my nyx butter gloss and it's in the shade ginger snap And then I'm going to take the highlighter from my True Complexion Contour Palette and, and just use this. This highlighter is 
very blah, that's why I don't use it very often. I feel like I have to put a lot on there to get it to show up. And I'm gonna take my Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray and lock everything in. Okay, I am gonna put on a little bit of mascara. Ooh, this looks like it might be a little bit dry. And y'all know what? I know I already set my makeup and stuff, but now that I'm thinking about it, I want to add something to my lower lash line. Look at me just completely doing everything out of order. It's just so I'm gonna take the shade Testify, which was the first shadow that I used, and put that on my lower lash line. I'm gonna take that shade Truth, which is the darkest purple, and put this in the front. I think that's look that's looking really cute and I'm gonna also take this Sephora blush looks like this and it's called shame on you and add some of this to my cheeks I completely did everything out of order today but you know what well not everything but some things out of order here but that's all right and now I'm gonna relock it into place all right you guys I am back this is the final look I don't know if I'm gonna keep my hair up like this but it's up for now so yeah, this look is a complete vibe. These lashes are everything and more. So I need to go ahead and order me some more because mm, they, they is a bomb. All right, you guys, so that's it for this tutorial. If you guys did enjoy this video, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with somebody and send them on over here. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.